Today we're going to talk about linear and angular speed. Now they're very similar concepts and a lot of times we use it when we talk about wheels, but they're a little bit different. So here's the thing. If we have a bike that's 12 inches in diameter, um, we can talk about a bug on the edge of the bike or a bug in the center of the bike. And if this bug was going around and around and around, um, we might talk about its angular speed or its linear speed. So basically, if I start at the bottom and I move it one full rotation, so this is 180 degrees and this is another 180 degrees, we know one full rotation is 360 degrees. So if that happened in one second, then we would say that it has an angular speed, because it's an angle, of 360 degrees per one second. So 360 degrees per second. But let's say we did our full rotation, 360 degrees, in three seconds. Well, that means that it would have traveled 120 degrees every single one second. So 120 degrees per second. And you could have different measurements as well. Maybe it goes 90 degrees in a second. So it takes four of those to get into um, one full rotation. So this is what we, we talk about when we talk about um, angular speed. And angular speed is in degrees per second, degrees per minute, um, and eventually you learn something that's called radians as well, but we're not gonna talk about that today. The other thing we're gonna talk about is linear speed. So this goes back to the idea of these two bugs. Many of you guys have seen uh, what we call a merry-go-round. And depending on how adventurous you are, you would choose a different spot on the merry-go-round. Some people might have chose near the center and some people might have chosen along the outside. And you're really going faster, you're traveling a greater distance if you're on the outside. So the bug that would be on the outside of the wheel, um, if we go around and you know, our, we do our rotations, we do four full rotations, this bug travels a greater distance during those four full rotations than the bug inside here. Um, and so that's what we call linear speed. So this is gonna be something with inches per second. So basically we imagine that we paint the outside of the wheel and if we paint the wheel, we're gonna get a track behind it that's a certain distance long. So it depends on our circumference. So we're gonna do an experiment today and my three kids are going to ride their bikes a certain um, uh, distance and we are going to find their linear speed and their angular speed. So I had them do this in slow-mo so you can't actually see their seconds because it is in slow-mo, but I'm gonna give you their time from a stopwatch and the number of rotations that they did during that time. And you're gonna find all of these things for me. All right, good luck.